back to the channel. So this is a travel vlog. I'm gonna run out to Lake Vermilion for the weekend and free fish for a tournament for next weekend. But we've got to stop at uh, the camper, which we have on a resort, and take care of a couple of things. So as you probably can notice from some of my earlier videos, earlier videos, my talons squeak. Well, I might have a solution for that, and I'm going to give it a shot today. And also, some of the other things you got to take care of is pretty much opening up the camper and hooking up the water and getting rid of some critters, maybe. Been setting some my, uh, mouse traps up there, and last weekend got four of them. So. I don't know, maybe we can get them all. I don't, hopefully there's no more in there. I've been killing mice in there for a while now and I'd like them to be gone permanently. So, maybe this will be it. And no more mice, but that's the deal for right now. And then after that, we're gonna head to uh, McKinley Campground. That's on Lake Vermilion. We'll set up, no fishing for today. Opener is tomorrow, so. No fishing today, but we will get set up and see what things look like. Trap, but it's empty. One, put a bunch underneath the, underneath the sofa here. Let's see here. All right, that's really hard for you to see, but there are no mice down here. No dead mice. This little screen, just in case there's any junk that comes into the water line, it won't plug up faucets. up just crank her on well back on the road again leaving the, the camper got everything all taken care of that I wanted to get taken care of we fixed the talons and checked for mice hooked up the water checked the water only got one small leak underneath the tub which I can take care of another time. But now we are on our way to McKinley Park Campground on Lake Vermilion. Almost there, about 15, 15 minutes away. Just got some more windy roads here, rough roads, and we'll be at the campground. Can't wait. 
want to get set up and I want to relax a little bit. I'm just tired. Well, I finally made it. It's nice to finally be here. A little windy, but we're sheltered from the wind. It's coming from the south and uh, it was blowing over the trees. So, as you can see, the lake is nice and calm. Wind's blowing around a little bit, so we're on the calm side of the lake, the shoreline. So, yeah, we're finally here. and going to settle in a little bit more. and get the cooler, get the cooler uh, plugged in and boat plugged in. And kind of finish setting up here, but uh, I'll kind of show you, show you my, my uh, place here. Little picnic table chair right next to the lake and dock. Set. And boat plugged in right next to the and I see a post and of course my uh, camping set up here in the back of the truck um, glare sorry about the glare there we go um, yeah the TV in there I don't know uh, it's the first time I, I, I had put a TV in here I don't know if it's even gonna get used I just thought I'd just try it see if I like it maybe I, maybe I'll build a mount for it I don't know but then there's my where I sit back there we got just uh, outdoor cushions there. And we've got other pillows and cushions packed away that I can use to sit on if I need to. And, and then, of course, the bed. You know, as for the mattress, these are just old couch cushions. You know, and just easy. You know, if I want to, you can just slide it out. And uh, just click here and slide it out. Like that. And you just sit down on tailgate it's really nice uh, this is uh, the back shade for the back window you see I got that shade up I don't think I'm gonna put that one up since it's facing the lake I don't really need to worry about anybody driving by no lights or anything to bother me so I just got a, a typical Coleman blanket it's nothing special for a uh, sitting bag And then uh, this drawer here, yeah, there's hatchets and stuff right there. I'm just testing them out. So the drawer, it's just, I just pull it out. It slides on the bottom of the truck. Just primitive, but it works. So then I got you know, my grill, which I'm looking at ways to make this space a little bit better. So I'm looking at getting rid of this to put a smaller grill in. And then maybe this, because then I have a different burner that it, it's going smaller. I don't really need anything that big. And then uh, here we got you know, utensils and stuff, bowls, paper, you know, and garbage bags, and, and on the side, I just keep spices or you know, seasonings and, and back up like soup and stuff or ramen. And, and then I'll put the the buns and bread in here just keep it out of the sun it stays cooler in here up underneath everything it's pretty much insulated with the, the mattresses on there cushions okay now in the back here you know there'd be got a uh, little griddle here with the lid on it and got some toilet paper extra clean stuff here you know just some extra stuff uh, pots and pans and just just some Stuff just stuffed away there, cooking stuff, but just to have some case. And whenever I usually go camping, I usually try to find electricity since, since I've taken the boat with. So I usually do cook on the griddle quite a bit. Um, unless I just want to make burgers or something, then that thing gets used. And I'm going to pack all the you know, propane in right next to it. This is a separate burner. So the thing's uh, thing set up pretty. Pretty good for me here. The problem is pushing this thing in. There we go. So uh, up on the top there, I've got climb in here. Little, little doors here, so I can I can get in and access anything if it's raining outside. Nothing, nothing real special, just useful and I keep a uh, heater fans and you know, special lights in here and 
a couple extra blankets and um, pillows and cushions in there just uh, for uh, sitting and if I need to pop up my head a little bit more. But other than that, that's what I got going. And then this little thing here, this is the Coleman um, thermal fridge. Plug it in and have my, you know, it works really good. I really like it a lot. The only problem is that you gotta keep something around it if the sun's gonna hit it. Uh, otherwise, it'll lose its temperature up by the top anyway. Um, but in a control, in a space out of the sun, and it was about half full stuff, it stayed at 32 degrees, 32 degrees the whole time. And everything's still in there, it's still really cool. So that's really awesome if you got electricity available. Or you got a way to plug it in in your vehicle and, and keep things cool. I like to keep just mostly food in there, and then I'll keep like, uh, pop water and stuff like that in a, in a different cooler with ice. It's, that really doesn't matter. I just don't want to put all that ice and stuff in the cooler with the, uh, with the food because then it, it makes it all mushy. Sometimes it leaks in, gets into the food, and it makes it mushy and kind of destroys it. So it's a nice little way to get away from that. So one thing what I'll do when I'm out camping like this or we're, I'm going to go pre-fish and, and stuff, I like to have all my rods out ready to go uh, I actually, I had, uh, I pulled them up before you guys could see, but I put them in the back, just laid them on top here and stretched across, but I had them all out, uh, so that way I, I didn't have to dig them out of the box, so I had them pre-rigged, ready to go, but I think I might want to use or what I think might work. That will, can and will probably change on the water, at least now I got a starting point. I got 13 rods rigged up, ready to go, and then... I have them all strapped in right here. So I've got my hard baits here. Um, sorry for the wind, I don't know how it's working out. But I got hard baits, a jerk bait, uh, got a top water walking bait, uh, a popper, top water popper, and a couple of, uh, I've got a square bill and a, and a, not a deep diver, but it dives about six, about six feet. Um, and then over there, I got more of my jigs. And I got a, I got a a live target spinner bait. Pretty much got things all set up. I got three spinning rods set up and put on the side too. So, but uh, yeah, we're ready to go for tomorrow. Yeah. So, now this is my view here. It's nice, nice to have lake front. I wasn't sure if I was going to get one if I went to camping. It didn't really matter, but it's it's nice to have. It definitely makes it more peaceful and relaxing. For a long day of fishing, eight to ten hours. Oh. Oh. So, there's me sitting back in here and relaxing just for a minute. Gonna cool off and oh, I'm kind of beat. This is really nice, really comfortable. Plus, when I'm up and go, there's no tent that you have to take down. I love this. Definitely love this. In my view. View the lake. Oh, it's kind of silver bright. So window open over there, get some more airflow. Yeah. I love this. Here right now, cooking some up. I uh, didn't show the how I started them, or mixed them, or anything like that. Wind is kind of crazy, so it changed directions. Now it's blowing in from off of the lake, so you might be able to hear it right now, actually. So, but I like to put a lot of butter. Sorry, came down. I like to put a lot of butter in the pan first, and then I put right here. You're looking at like nine eggs. I don't know. I like eggs. So I put, the reason why they look funny is because I put Frank's Red Hot. 
right in there. So, and I uh, mix it up good and just let it cook. Starting to burn, see? Cook, cook fast. I got, uh, I like to put in here is usually garlic, pepper, and salt seasoning. This actually has onion flavor in it too, a little bit. Don't even really notice the onion flavor, but this was just the only one they had at one point, so I grabbed it. Mm, tasty. And I am actually gonna serve up this, serve up all this on one plate. I am that hungry. Huh? Now I'm gonna sit down and eat my food. Got this little table that I just cut out and rested on these supports here. Decided to do whatever I want. Not gonna fall down. All right, guys. So I'm gonna call it a night. It's kind of early, but I'm really tired. Had a long drive today, and I didn't sleep much last night. I think I maybe got three hours of sleep. Plus, I had all the rods are rigged already, and everything's already go for tomorrow. So I'm just gonna pass out and catch you guys in the morning when we start the first day of pre-fishing. So this concludes the travel vlog.